Robertson Stadium in Houston, Texas. These fans are pumped up and anxious to see this one get underway. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 17. Texas A&M's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. I mean, you can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. The quarterback draw goes for about a yard, but that's it. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. They come out on an empty backfield. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 31. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That makes it second and six. Brought down at the 47. Incomplete. But he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Good tackle there in space. Fires quickly and it's picked off. And just a great interception by the quarterback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop. That's the 31. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First and ten. Makes it out to about the 20. That makes it first and 10. Got an opening. And he's taken down at the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Fires 
quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 43-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Tackle made at about the 35. Gives it up the gut. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at the 46. Picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. Looks for his running back incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Slings it. They'll bring him down right around the 20. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. That'll make it 39. And a quick throw. Big play, and it's first and goal. at the two.
the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. So they spread out the defense and keep it on the ground for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 14-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. goes out of bounds around the 21 yard line just about three yards there it's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere that's a great tackle at the 25 yard line it'll be short of the first after the completion well good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker we played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Brought down at the 46-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That is a loss of five. That brings up fourth and 15. Gets to about the 37-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's got it with room to run. And he's level at the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He's on the run. And now he's going to run. He's at the 40. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play. Steps out at the 26. Hand off up the middle. And he hits at the 
37 yard line. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Number 28 was intended to receive on the play. Fourth down. Texas A&M could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. Heading for the corner. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Quick strike to the receiver, and he is drilled at the 37. to about the 11-yard line. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. So the Aggies quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on the team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Tackle for a loss. That makes it seven. 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 Going right to his tailback. And they make the stop at the 35 yard line. Number 15 his First down. Outside after a nice pickup. Five yards there for the quarterback. Two minutes left in the half. Texas A&M's going to take their first time out of the half. He's out of bounds at the 42.
knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. And he throws right away. In the air. It's intercepted. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. Houston is up four. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Houston's going to use their first time out of the half here. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets rid of this one. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. And down he goes at the 13. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Texas a and is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Fires out 
quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. That's a gain of nine. Stay right. Stay right. That Green. makes it first and ten. Set. Green 95. And here's a quick throw. And he's hit immediately. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he's scrambling. Got the corner. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. The Cougars lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make the play could win this game. quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Five wide. He throws right. He got it! At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way! Touchdown! That's his third toss for a score. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He makes the PAT. to the 20 and down he goes at the 22 yard line boy the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this in fact you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face the defensive coordinators on the other hand might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. And he 
he's immediately tackled. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He scrambled. And he's going to come up with a sack. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets rid of it quickly. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Number 20 brings him down on the 37-yard line. First down. to his back and he's got him again and he shoved out of bounds at about the 35 that makes it second and eight scrambling around brought down around the 26 yard line And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a game of three on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. First down. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he hits him hard at the 12. with room to work. Nice play to set up first and goal. Number 13 with the tackle at the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And they make the stop around the three-yard line. That brings them second and goal. Taken down at the three-yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. They'll get him for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. So the Aggies quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I don't think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Texas A&M gets set to kick this one away. 
He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Houston's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Houston up by eight. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Number 81, the intended receiver. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. I'm, I'm coming up with you. I'm coming up with you. Give to the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven. That makes us up in three. Has some room. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32. How about that to keep a drive alive? Using the option to break off a fantastic run. Pass complete and taken down immediately. run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 17-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That brings up second and one. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He goes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. Houston's up by 15. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Quick pass. Three-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. Come get some. Come out here. Come get some. He don't want it. Hey, set right. Hey, set. Hey, 10, 20. 10, 20. 
nice run, and he's brought down. Here's the eighth play of the series. That's a great tackle at the 16. That's a game That makes it first and 10. Set blue 14. Blue 14. They go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Second down and 11. Ball on the 17 yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Touchdown, Texas A&M. The quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They come out in a five-wide set. And they won't get the two. It was an 11-play, 82-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And he's tackled at the 43. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of two. tipped away. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. And he missed it to the right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. On the throw, incomplete pass. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it inbounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Makes the grab past the marker. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. First down. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked down. First down. First and 10, ball on the 28. 
Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick throw, incomplete, on his receiver. Five wide. Strike to his receiver, no good. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes at the 24. Touchdown! Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? And he tacks on the extra point. Free kick, kick out, out of, bounds. of bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside so kick just wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's at the 20. Good tackle there in space. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. Tackle after a decent pickup. Texas A&M's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the nine-yard line, second down. Just over a minute left. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. They line up in the jumbo set. The throw, caught, touchdown.
Trying to go up by two scores. They line up for the extra point. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Offense. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 29-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Houston is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies are flying through this ball game. They have scored 23 unanswered points. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football. It's intercepted, and that should do it. Tackle around the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. Well, the offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. Houston, 42. Texas A&M, 33. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.